Hi and welcome back to the second part. So the in part one, we built the slider here. And so today we are going to continue with the um, other parts of the home screen. So let's just jump right into it. So continuing, I'm going to scroll down and just where the size box ends, I'm going to come down and then I need some space. So I'm going to use a size box also. So con size box. And then I'm going to give this a height of maybe 16. Not sure how that's going to look like. And now what we want to do is um, have the text for, let's say, top rated movies. So remember, we are still in the column here. So we can go ahead and then use a text widget. And then we can say top, um, how do I write this, rated movies. And then we can go ahead and style this a bit. So we'll use the Google style. The Google Fonts package to do this. So let's say style and then we can use the Google Fonts package and I think I'll use the same. How do you pronounce this? ABZ? A -B -Z? I don't know. If, if you know how to pronounce this, maybe somebody can help me in the comments. And I think there's no need to just give this a color. So let's give the font size, let's say 25. I'm going to save this and see what we have. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit too close. Um, let's let's play with this a bit. Let's see. Um, let's double that to 32. Too much? Yeah, I think that's fine. So you know what? Let me do the same to the top one there. So let's double this also to 32. See how that's looking. Yeah, that's that's more like it. And after the text, we want another size box. So we get a little bit of spacing. So after this text, and I don't know, I'll maintain 32 for now until I get what I want. So essentially, um, I need a list of scrollable widgets here. So each one is going to have the movie. Okay. So I'm going to use a size box to hold everything. Then inside, I'm going to use a list view um, builder to create each of the objects. So. This is what I mean. So I'm going to use the size box here, like so. And for the height of the size box, I'm not really sure, but let's just go with 200 for now. You, you may not see anything. And the width here, I want it to go all the way. So we're going to use double dot infinity, just like so. The child of this size box is going to be the list view dot builder. Okay, so this is going to be um, if VS Code can let me see what I'm typing. So list view dot builder. And then we have to provide a number of things here. So I'm going to get rid of this. Break this down so that I can see what I am doing. So one of the first things I'm going to do is, well, change the scroll direction. Since I want this to be horizontal, since we'll be scrolling horizontally this way. By default, I think it scrolls vertically. Then we would also want to change the physique. So this isn't um, necessary, but I, I usually like the bounce and scroll physics. So I'm going to use const and then we're going to use the bounce and scroll physics here. And then for now, the item count, um, I'm just going to say 10 for the meantime. And then we are going to call the item builder. And then this item builder usually takes a context and an index. So as you can see over there, so I'm going to go with this method. And then here we need to return what we want to return. So in our case here, we want to return a container and I'm just going to close this. Now, after returning the container, just so you can see what we're doing, I'm going to give it a color of, let's say, colors the amber as usual. And I should probably give this container a width and height. So let's give this a height of about, I'm not so sure, just so you can see what I have. You know what? Let me ignore the height for now and do this. So I'm going to save this for now so that you can see if we've, we have anything. So let me give this a height of, let's say 200 and a width of, let's say 200. And then what you're seeing here is a bunch of them. Oops, didn't mean to close the app. So what you can see it's a bunch of them. 
So there isn't any pattern between each container and that is why we don't see the space, okay? So what we can do is we can wrap this in a pattern and then when I save this, you can see the 10 um, containers that are showing, okay? So sorry for the earlier um, closing of the app and all of that. Um, I believe we could try using the margin of the container. So let me test this out. Um, I don't know why that just came and I feel like testing it out. So I want to remove this widget. And then for the container, if I use margin, it's the same, um, let's say const edge insets dot all. So I have to use all, let's say eight. And let's see what we have. So nothing changes. So I believe you can use margins, but I think I'll go with the pattern. So I'm going to undo all of that to the pattern. So let me save that. So this is what I'm going for. This is the idea. Okay. And just like we did it at a time, I'm going to wrap this container with a clip erect for the same explanation I gave the other time. So I'm going to say clip erect. Oops. And then we are going to give the border radius to be border radius that's circular. And then let's give this about eight. Then we have this. I know this is too wide. Probably a width of our hundred will be good. Oops, that's to 150. Yeah, I think 150 is cool. Okay, so that's it for the top rated movie section. So we can go ahead and then build on the next part, which is just the same thing. Okay, so what we can do is we can extract the size box to its own place. Okay, so this entire size box can be its own widget. So the next thing we have to do is create the next part, which is going to be right below this. So we have trending movies, top rated movies and then upcoming movies if I remember what I'm supposed to put there. So it is literally the same thing. It is literally this entire portion all the way to this. I believe so. It is literally the same thing. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this here. And when I save this, you can see it's literally the same thing we have okay just I need to change the title here so this becomes upcoming movies saving this should change this to upcoming movies and that's just it for this part now you would notice that duplication I did it's not really a good thing to do so what we are going to do is start refactoring this code a bit so I'm going to go ahead in the lib folder I'll create a new folder and I'll call this widgets. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to extract this first part, this trending movies. So if I can find where to start with. So this size box, I'm going to extract this. So I'm clicking on this and then pressing control period or full stop. And I'm going to say extract widget. And I'm just going to say trending um, slider and then hit enter and as you can see that extracts everything leaving this now it wants us to use a const so for now let's put the const there and then if you check below here this is where it keeps the extracted widget so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab everything here up to this point i'm going to cut it i'll go into my widgets folder create a new file called trending let's spell that right trending slider dot that and then i would import material and then dump that in here and i need to make these imports so control period and then import the carousel slider and that should fix this part and i can go back home and then make that import over here so let's import this slider and i think on top here we don't need this import again 
and that just reduces some of the code for the home page so we can also do the same thing for the top rated movies so i can come to the size box do the same thing so extract widget and then here i'll just call this movie movie slider and the reason why i'm giving it this generic name is that we are going to use the same thing here okay and it's just the call to the specific endpoint of the api that changes so instead of me extracting for both and giving them different names i'm going to use just one so i don't have to make that repetition i made earlier i'm going to hit enter and add a const modifier then just like i did i'm going to cut this too and then head on to the widgets folder create a new file and then call this movies underscore slider dot dart import material and then paste this do we have to make any imports no so let's come back to the home page and make the import here and do we have to get rid of anything no so the only thing i have to get rid of is this second um the upcoming move is the second part i need to get rid of that so i'm going to get rid of the size box i hope this is where it ends so if i save this now then that part is missing but then right after this I can say const if I can see what I'm typing and then call the movies slider just like this and then when I hit save you see we get the same thing without having to have the whole lot of code so you you should keep in mind that you want to always refactor your code as much as possible break them into little chunks and then insert them into your main body okay but um like i said i'm in a hurry to get to the api calls as the front part of all of this and the main focus so there may be places i may just keep doing the refactoring but try to keep that in mind